You know, I've spent a third of my adult life living out of a suitcase. And looking back on those 30 years, four months every year, traveling, it occurs to me, it's really clear, travel, thoughtful travel, is well worth the time and the money. Travel opens us up to the wonders of our world. Uh, in so many ways, it helps you appreciate nature. That connects you with nature and it connects you with culture. And when I'm traveling, I love this whole idea that travel connects us with culture. When I'm traveling, I find that there's different slices of culture that I never realized people could be evangelical about. A great thing about travel is it connects you with people. It's people that really, you know, make your, your experience vital. It occurred to me there's so many misunderstandings between people and when we travel, we straighten them out. Travel wallops my ethnocentricity. And I'm very thankful for that. It's something to celebrate. These are the lessons you pick up. And it is so fun to change something that you thought was a basic truth. Well, into your adulthood, you realize, hey, other people, smart people, can see it differently. I'm impressed how many heroic struggles are going on in this planet all the time that I'm completely oblivious to. Every year, eight or 10 distinct languages go extinct. That's eight or 10 ethnic groups that lose a long struggle. But it's really important for us to remember in our travels that there are other heroes and other causes. One great way to make your travels more meaningful is to relate to, to embrace a contemporary Nathan Hale in a different country. Get into it. I learned once again that fear, and there's a lot of it in our society, fear is to me for people who don't get out very much. When we travel, we gain a little better appreciation of what is the baggage that people are carrying when they respond to us. Good people motivated by the same thing their counterparts are here in the United States. Fear and love. That's a powerful lesson you cannot learn watching TV. One thing that's occurred to me recently is Americans are loving, compassionate people, but we're not very good at grappling with the gap between the rich and the poor. There's something in our upbringing that makes it very tough to deal with that honestly. When you travel, you have the poor reaching into your window. You can't escape it if you're traveling honestly. And for 30 years, I've had the poor reaching in my window. And it's been a powerful impact in the value of my travel. And for the rest of our lives, when we look at the rest of the world, rather than fear its diversity, we can better celebrate it. Now, appreciating the value of travel is nothing new. 1,400 years ago, Mohammed said, don't tell me how educated you are. Tell me how much you've traveled. Mark Twain traveled, and he famously wrote, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. I've traveled, and travel has inspired me to be engaged and to do what I can to make a difference. In other words, it's helped me to become a better citizen of this planet. And I hope thoughtful travels can do the same for you. Empathy is about feeling with. Empathy is about feeling into, right? Sympathy says, I feel for you. But empathy says, I feel what you're feeling. The key difference is that empathy is about being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and experiencing life through their eyes. I believe nothing makes you more aware of your own privilege than traveling to a less wealthy country and experiencing what life is there for people who live there. Over 50% of Americans will never travel abroad. They will never leave the United States. And in a country that seems to be suffering from a deficit of empathy, I believe that travel can be the antidote. So, if you have the privilege of traveling abroad, don't just bring back a t-shirt. Take the opportunity to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, to bring back some emotional souvenirs, and please share them with us, because we want to know, and most importantly, we need to know.